Subtweeting is the inadvertent communication to somebody that you would want to see the communication, but like not really address them directly because it's either mean, hurtful, or shady. To me, subtweeting is like tweeting something or uh, having something in reference about somebody that's uh, done something or you feel some type of way about. I mean, it all comes down to subtweeting is, you know, someone gets mad about something, they'll take it to social media, but they don't tag you because they don't say it directly. Subtweeting <coughs> is when you disrespect somebody else on Twitter, you take shots at people on Twitter, and you want them to know but you don't have the courage to tell them. I have fallen victim to the subtweeting war. I tweeted out, you want to be happy with your man and tell your man about all this stuff, but he's in my DMs, question mark. I learn something new about myself every day, about something I did when I don't recall ever physically doing anything or being there. One time, I decided to wear my hair in the middle, like a middle part. And somebody tweeted and said, when are we going to stop pretending that our faces don't look like a butt when we have a middle part? I think subtweeting is not bullying. I think subtweeting is getting your feelings out via social media because sometimes, you know, if you approach said this person that you're subtweeting, they might not be happy with you. But via tweet, they don't necessarily know it's you, so it's just like, I know that I'm getting back at you for being a buzz. It's used for people who like are not confrontational and afraid of people. Do I think it's bullying? Yes and no. I feel indifferent about it. If it's about a certain individual and everybody else knows it is, then it can be bullying. But then if it's just in general and you take offense to it, then work on whatever it is you're being subtweeted about.